temperature-based control systems can be built using several sensors and microcontrollers. These microcontrollers, such as the comparators and many more ICs, are fundamental for signal switching process. In this project, I'm using the common NTC thermistor and the Atmega328 microcontroller, which is commonly found in the Arduino Uno board for my development. This project is built to measure the changes in the surrounding temperature and trigger different rotating fan on a different range in the temperature changes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I assemble the system and equally present you both the schematic diagram and the sketch used specifically for this project. <music> I started off this project by first assembling the circuit on the breadboard. I do recommend you to do this whenever you are building a project for the first time. From my sketch, I programmed the system to trigger the first fan on once the temperature rises above 40 degrees centigrade and that is achieved using the if statement. 80 degrees centigrade is the next trigger point I preset the second fan and it is achieved likewise using the same method. Whenever the temperature rises above 100 degrees centigrade, the alarm is triggered as all fans are entirely switched off. This is programmed according to the requirements given to me for a final year project and after I'm through with the programming, I started off to solder the system on a PEV board. For this project, this is the complete circuit diagram which I used. You can entirely use BC547 bipolar transistors in place of the MOSFET as it will work out fine, just that I had few bipolar transistors then and as such, I was able to use what I have, which is the MOSFET. The schematic diagram is simple to understand and follow, just that you will have a different circuit altogether if you wish to use only the Atmega328 microcontroller instead of the whole of the Arduino Uno board. I started off with the 16 MHz crystal oscillator voltage regulator and the 22 PF capacitor. Next, I soldered the relays in place on the PEV board. The rectifier diode were connected in place as I have the board looking just like this. I used the aluminum heat sink to absorb the heat applied to the thermistor. Next, I started working on the LCD display. The board getting fully ready now for packaging, I connected both the fans, the buzzer coupled with the transformers together and with that done, I can now package the assembly. I apply spray on the wooden materials as I have them like this. Fast forward through the process, I now have the project ready for use. I like the look it now have as I'm ready to power it up. I compare the system value with commercial temperature meters and the values correspond with just plus or minus 1 degree centigrade offset which is still ok for the DIY build. Now, I tested the functionality of the system by applying heat to the sensor using my soldering iron. The temperature rise up to 40 degrees centigrade and turn on the first fan. The temperature keeps on rising to 80 degrees centigrade as the next fan turned on. And at 100 degrees centigrade, the system cuts out power for the fan as programmed. It's really uplifting to see this project works out just fine. 
Over time, I've developed several temperature projects for students that ask for it, ranging from what I have here and down to this device. All these projects are quite similar and share almost the same lines of code which I will share with you. Check the video description to access all the materials for this project and remember to subscribe to our channel if you have not. Click the little bell icon to personally get notified once we make the next upload on our project. From the comment section, I will appreciate your thoughts on this project and press the thumbs up if you liked the video. Thank you so much and I will see you on the next project.